one of the things we, we talk about sometimes in, uh, in R&D is, is how do we get rid of all the PCs on no, the top floor, really you know, mobile, yeah. wearable. Uh, this is another example. Um, if you look at all the other booths, they've all got PCs to show you what's going on. We actually yeah. got rid of ours and put a marker there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. What else would Jerry have? What would you like to do, John? I just want to get a quick shot of that with you. There we go. Yep. And so you're, you don't need your hands at all. It's all with your eyes. It's all with your head moving and eyes to trigger the yep. interface. Yep. I like the remote support example. That was cool. Yeah. That, that was, was really that neat. That was talking about HoloLens, but it's, yeah. it's the same thing. With Similar this. concept, can, yeah. yeah. This has that same capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, that was a different set of glasses, but yeah. but it allowed the manager to stay home in his bunny slippers. Exactly. Right. And, <laughs> Watching the Kardashians. Yeah. Because oh, so I'm, so I'm yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to get out of bed and come to the plant, which is not that he's lazy. It's the fact that if he comes in, it's probably... It might just be like a 10 minute job, so it doesn't make any sense. Exactly, right? So Makes maybe it's sense. in the middle of the night shift, and uh, you know, he's, he's in bed, he's not due in for another four hours if he has to get up then. Uh, he's right behind you. Chad's right yeah, behind Chad's you. Right behind yeah, Chad's right behind you. Yeah. Well, I, I got a better look here at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a, So rather than having to get yeah. up out of the bed in the middle of the night, drive all the way to work, maybe for a 10 minute fix, uh, right. you can just sit up, open your laptop, yeah. uh, establish a session. With the uh, with the operator on the floor, he's got the glasses on. You can act, so then you can see what right. he's seeing and help him diagnose it from a training aspect, right? Then he's learning what, how to do the, the diagnostic rather than you right. coming and do it. Right. So it's a, like first-hand experience for him. So through Skype, he could actually see what you were seeing on the glasses yep. on the Hololens. He could see the same stuff exactly, you were seeing. Yep, yep. Yep. And That's you can really actually cool. uh, annotate. On the like in Skype, you can if you do a draw a circle, maybe around mm -hmm. a part, it would show up in the in the hollow lens, so they could see exactly where you're indicating for them to, right. to look. And for the goggles to work, they need a frame of reference like this. It depends on the use case. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For the use case, we were demonstrating uh, with the control panel. Right. Yes. Because you want to right. know what information you need to project, so you need to know where you are. So the markers right. give you that capability uh, to identify a, a spot. Right. on the factory floor and then you can determine what information is appropriate. And then you look at it and you see the cursor and you can make an action through your with your eyes basically. With That's your eyes, cool. exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you use the cursor. The cursor tracks as your with your head movement and so you can position it on buttons, virtual buttons that you are projected into your space. Yep. Uh, and that you hold it there for a couple of seconds to uh, like a glance and that will trigger the button to perform whatever action is cool. done. All right, that's a quick augmented reality chat with uh, Barry Vince. Thanks a lot, Barry. You're welcome, Jen.